Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Gibbs at the end. Welcome back to more Nino Kuni Blind. We are in part 14. I think. Let's left off. We came to the trials of the sage. And now we get to pick a new creature to carry on with us. This guy, like I said before, is Alice in Wonderland-esque character, like straight up. This guy looks pretty cool. I wish they would evolve. This guy kind of looks like a uh, genie gloom. Eh. I like how this guy looks like. Kind of like, I wish he would evolve into like a fox creature. Boo! <laughs> this one's called Boogly Boo. It may have a stupid name, but it can scare the pants off people even worse than me. It packs a hefty punch and can learn some pretty nasty tricks, too. You should definitely choose that one over the other two. They're rubbish. Oh, okay, I can get a little interesting thing in about all of them. Pee-wee! This cute creature's called Naid, or Nyide. So there. It's not very good at normal attacks, but it's got some decent magical ones, and it's great healers, so it's helpful to have around. You should definitely choose that one over the other two. They're rubbish. And what is this one? ba do be do ba ba I'm green, I'm blue, da ba di ba ba da pa pa perp. That stupid looking one's called a shonky honker. It's got good defense and magical attack. It can be put enemies to sleep as well. It's a bit of an all-arounder, I suppose. It actually sounds pretty nice. Like I said, I'll just give this one. I don't even know if I'll ever use these ones. Boo. But I like this one the way it looks the best, so I'll just take it. Uh, how do I choose it? Oh, I'd have to really go up to him. Have you decided? Yes. Uh, why to be there some as you do when you tame creatures in normal battle? In case you've forgotten the memes, you have to beat the creature up and then get Esther to play the serenade on it for Uh, don't wet your pants. I've told you I'm not in tech. Dun -dun. I was about to say, I thought I was like... Okay, so I have to beat them all at once, or just... Right then, daughter of Rashad, are you ready? You're the only one who can use that hop. You better try it out, hadn't you? But that's not the one I want. But that was the last one I talked to. Shit. You know what? I talked to that one last. Hmm. Oh, well. Right then. Listen, there's three creatures here. You have to pick one to be your new family. Okay, jeez. I'm getting my head ahead of myself. Uh, you know how to tame a creature, don't you? First, you have to bait it in battle. These ones are friends of mine, so I've told them not to fight back when you bash them. Come on, beat the creature that you want. Attack. I'll get the boogly boo. Boggly boo. Also because I like its name. Oh, God. She has a, so her basic attack is just an AoE, like, harp thing. That's actually kind of cool looking, but... So she attacks with songs. Chirpy tune. No, that's a buff. So I guess that probably gives back, uh, uh, wait, can I not switch back to my other guy? Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Oh, and I accidentally defended. <laughs> oh, well, let's just do this real fast. I mean, I'm hitting L1. It doesn't seem to be letting me switch, uh, people. I... Eh, no, I can't really do anything else. Oh, God, I keep defending. No, don't do songs again. Oh, well. It's almost dead. <laughs> Takes a little longer than I would hope, but... There we go. So then a heart pops up, and then I hit the heart thing. It's up on its feet again! Creatures that do that sometimes when you beat them in battle. See the yucky pink hearts? It means you can tame it. Uh, near a creature with hearts over its head, she can use her heart command. Then she can choose whether to play a serenade to tame it, or let it go back into the wild. If you don't choose quickly, it'll run off. Uh, it's run away, but you're a beginner, probably rush. Do that on that. Serenade. Play that lovely hop. You tamed the Boggly Boo. We did it! Yeah, we did it! Thumbs up. I love the statues in the background. It looks so ridiculous. Um, so uh, we got 60 experience. My familiar leveled up, which is nice. Even though you didn't do anything. Boggly? So is it no matter what its name is, then Boo? Boggles? Boggy? BB? Boggly? Bogless? Boggly? 
Hmm. Hmm. Uh, how do I go lowercase again? Select button. Boobity. Boo. How do I spell boobity? Is that even a real word? Boobity. Do 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 do. Boobity. Uh, where the hell's the one? There it is. And confirm. So it should be. Boobity. Oh, it, wait, what? I was hoping it'd be. Oh well. Boo Biddy's not your friend. I wanted it to be. I thought Boo would be attached to it since it seemed like its name was Boogly. So I just put Boo Biddy. But hey. We did it. We tamed it. Not bad for your first try. Like I said, anyone can be creatures, but Esther has to play the song to tame it. Esther. 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 So you'll have to work together if you want to get more familiars. I know it's hard for selfish brats like you, but you'll just have to try. Yes, me, Esther. Neato. Oh, and you can have three more familiars as well, the ones you use in battle. But what happens if we get all overexcited and tame more familiars than we've got room for? You have to speak to a little friend of mine. Look over there a second. Oh my god, it's like Bill's PC. Oh, so that's what this thing's for. Hello. My god, it's a shadow creature. Kill it with fire. What a funny looking thing. Don't be stupid, that's the rep from the familiar retreat. Oh my god, it's like an underworld resort for all these familiars. You'll take any familiars you don't need off your hands and keep them safe back at the retreat. It's basically a Bill's PC. This straight up is Pokemon rules. I like it. But they don't... Do they auto-teleport there? Or is it like you're, you're full, you can't tame anymore at the time? Then is there... I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what kinds of creatures there are out there to tame. You can find familiar retreat holes in every town you visit, and even some dangerous places. I think I've seen some places we've already been. Hang on, look, your familiar's ready to metamorphosis. They really do evolve? I have to teach you about that as well, do I? You don't know anything. Fine, I'll teach you about metamorphosis. Uh, give me a break first. You explain this is going to give me a face ache? That's new. Uh, so it gives us some time to save the game, I guess? It just, I guess, doesn't want us in, like... A scene for too long. Right, it's time to teach you about metamorphosis. This is boring, so listen carefully. If you look, you can see a familiar wants to metamorphosis. And for that one, you'll need one of these here. A sun drop. That's what these are for. Is this some kind of treat? That's not just any old treat. Just look and try it, will you? I'm bored of talking. Give it to that mite you've got there. Might? Uh, feed it to him in the creature cage, you mean? Okay, here goes. So, might. I'm guessing, would it be booby? Is this the creature? Is a might? Oh, no. He's ready to might. Okay, it just tells me. Thank goodness, because I'm smitey. Might, maybe? I don't know. Oh, my God. They, they do evolve. This is getting good. And I need to give him this thing. Oh, my God. Look at this ice cream. I love this carrot cake. That's why it looks like a bunny. Um, allows a sun sign familiar to metamorphosis into the second form. Oh my god, this game's getting better already. Oh my god, did he get like a... Like a it looks like he gets like a cheerleader. Oh my god, he goes from a mite to a mighty mite. But his level restarts. And then it branches off. Interesting. Learn Learnable tricks. He gets ray of light and something... I'm, I'm confused. So he's a regular might. I don't know any of those moves. By this one, I get a bunch more moves. Smitey. Metamorphosis into mighty might? Oh my god. Smitey is evolving! That would have been cool if, since they call it metamorphosis. Holy snap. He really does get a little vest. That's great. That would be... It would be um really good if... They actually go in like a cocoon thing for a while because they call it metamorphosing, which obviously is about uh, caterpillars and whatnot. Into a mighty might. The number of different tricks Smitey can perform in battle increased by one. <gasps> so it basically gives him a new move slot. Interesting. So this game does have evolving. It's so good. Nido, look at my familiar. That's metamorphosis. When familiar gets big enough, you can feed it special treats 
to make it change into a new version. I guess you hit a certain level cap, and then you can evolve it using a treat. So basically, we're getting, uh, you know, like level up stones, fire stones, lightning stones, dark stones. I don't know how many moon stones, how many stones are there? I can't remember. So many. And then we're going to evolve Pokemon, basically, but familiars. I love it. A new version. Got it. When familiars battle of force, they get stronger, look different, and learn better tricks. So basically, his, his little curved horns turn into, like, just straight spike horns. Uh, they also get to gobble up more gems, meaning you can teach them even more tricks. The treat you need to feed a familiar to make it battle of force depends on its sign, something you'll never would have worked out on your own. Oh, and here's another piece of a priceless wisdom you don't deserve. When familiars metamorphosis, they go back to level one. But that doesn't mean you're back to square one. Once you train them up, they'll be much more powerful than they were before. Whether you metamorphose, metamorphose, your familiars are not is up to you. Some idiots prefer to stick with what they got, Ash. Uh, do what you want, I don't care. That's more Pikachu's decision than Ash's, though. Uh, now you don't need anything else explaining, do you? You're fine with that, with what I told you. Yes, me. Good, I hate explaining all that stuff. Uh, if you want to hear all about boring details again, you can just ask the boring old telling stone you've got there. Somebody say my name. Ooga chaka, ooga chaka. Let's get to this boring. You haven't changed. Anyway, you know how it works. You can get out there and tame loads of familiars and make metamorphosis. Thank you very much. Suprematude? Right, where to next? Go back to Alma Moon quickly. I want to see how my father's getting on. Yes, we need some babayanas. Uh, great sages too. Goodbye, Master Solomon. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. I mean, it. Shut up and get lost. <laughs> Guys, no time for nothing. So I was told, because I asked a question about uh, missing me, were you? I bet you were. Uh, were we screwing with your... Wait. What are you screwing your face up like that for? Have you cut your hands for a familiar ticket or something? Yes, this is what I was asking before, and this is how you turn it in. You exchange them for super mega ultra rare familiars. <gasps> familiar ticket that can be exchanged for a draggle. Exchange this ticket for a million? Yes. The dragon will become your familiar. Please enter a name. <gasps> a dragoon. Uh, maybe very uninspiring with this. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. char. Uh, do, do, do. I think it's all the way up here. Do I have enough room? Charmander, Char. Charmander, Amander. God, it's all over here. Uh, Charmander. Oh, perfect. Are you sure you want to name it Charmander? It's my Dragon Charmander. Charmander, is now you're familiar. We're gonna get in meta with this. I'm sure you and your new friend are going to get along famously. You don't mind being bitten, right? So there we go. We got a new familiar. We're going back to Alma Moon. Let me look at my new familiar. Wrong button. Oh, it gave it to mm. How do I switch? There we go. Oh, look at its pretty eyes. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like this would be better with her anyways. I don't know if it matters or not, but it seems like this is more of a mage one. Then again, I'm controlling her anyway, so I don't... Obviously, they did say something about specific familiars work better with specific people. So I guess, you know, I get the battle people. Even though I'm a mage, she's also like a mage. Nah, she's a tamer, I guess. Now, I keep forgetting that my character is a mage, because I don't usually play mage types. But, I mean, that's it is what it is, right? So I still need to figure out how to get up there. Which... Obviously, I get up there somehow. God, the music is still so good. What's that rumbling noise, Ollie boy? Your stomach, is it? Uh, look over there. Ah, <gasps> jeepers! Oh my god! 
Volcano's just exploding all of a sudden. Where has this been? What the hell is that? Nickers! That ain't good. No, old Smokey is erupting. Uh, old Smokey? Uh, volcano over there to the west of Al-Mamun. Proper huge it is. I'm no scientist, but I reckon it's the reason the whole region is so nice and warm. It shouldn't be erupting. There's a massive great big boulder block in the crater. Stop that from happening. Jeepers, do you think it's come loose? After all the hundreds of years, not without some serious encouragement, it hasn't. There's nothing in the old stories about it ever happening, uh, ever having been dislodged before. Then it's an unprecedented disaster. We've got our ha aura. hands, is it? On our, our hand, is it? Crikey, Al Mamun could be in danger. Uh, we have to go to, to Old Smoky. What? We have to put the boulder back and stop the volcano. You're joking, ain't you? It's hot as flippin' flip up there. Mun, uh, the desert is here is arctic by comparison to burned to cinders. Didn't you bring me here to save the world? We have to go. We have to say Al Mamun. The Babanas. He's right. We passed the trials, didn't we? We can do it. You little... You little beauties. It's enough to make a grown fairy cry seeing how far you've come. All right, I'm game. Let's save the day. Onward to Old Smokey. Let's go, everybody. Uh, yep, okay, yep. Let's go, Oliver. Oh, God. We're getting chased. Oh, turn around. Damn it, we're gonna get straight into two battles. And I don't think two of my guys are actually uh, level one, right? Level one. Charmander's also level one. So let's just fight ourselves. Uh, let's go with myself here. Oh yeah, she also attacks on her own. What am I talking about? I forgot about that. And I'll just whack on my stick here. Obviously I should be normally um, but they're, they're going to heal me and whatnot. Oh, I thought there was two familiars in the floor. It's her also, though. Yes. Okay, good. It looks like she uses her pretty well. So she will auto-switch familiars, too. That's good to know. That's what I was just about to ask that. Yeah, look. They're all level three now. Might need to do some grinding to get people up some levels. Oh, God. This could be all... <gasps> Planty can metamorphosis. Metamorphobull, I think it said. But anyways, uh, we need to get all the way to the volcano, which is all the way over there. I do want to go back to the forest, though. Oh, God. Just went in the damn sand pit. Because uh, I want to go talk to the old tree, because it, there's a bunch of quests I have and whatnot to do. But um, I want to do those. Oh, there's so much I want to do. And then like I remember the, the tree talked about, Oh, come talk to me every once in a while, man. I'll give you stuff. Well, I don't know if he actually said I'll give you stuff. Oh my god, I got a bunch of stuff now. I would assume this would be really good against a fire guy like that. What? It was really good. When I even get... Oh god, it does... It's so much mana, though. Boosh. Oh, that didn't work at all. Spells. Frostbite. And it's gonna kill... Too bad it's not gonna get both of them, though. Got that one. What? It's not dead? How much health does that thing have? Oh, I could tame it. So I'm full on... I'm full, so I can tame it. Serenade. So let's see what happens. You gonna me a sunshine. You tamed the sunshine, Spark. Awesome. Eevee, peevee, lime and squeevee. I'm already a master trainer. Look at me go. And obviously they're gonna be leveling up still and whatnot. Get through this screen. Come on. Oh, God, every time. Keep the sunshine? Yes. Sun bum. Uh, let's call it... Mm. Fire... Corona. Tanny. Dazzle. Sun bum. Damn it. Can I change the names later? Let's call it, um... Dazzle. But Dazzle. Um, are you sure you want to call the Sunshine Dazzle? Sure. Dazzle's now you're familiar? Am I not, am I full or not? Okay, I can have three reserves. I wanted to see what happens when... If it just auto, like, you know, Bill's PC, the Pokemon just transfer. 
over, you know? Or if it's like, oh, you're full, you can't have anything right now. I wonder if the reserves also leveled up. I would assume they would not. Oh, God. <laughs> Getting through these places is always horrible. Because they're, these are straight up like Babana plants, right? That's exactly what they look like, at least. Go with myself again. Spells. Pulse. 45 damage. But it does so much mana. Like I said, I just want to get this over with. Took him out. Come on, you're using the wrong familiar, girl. Esther. Esther. Okay. It's almost dead. Is that anything supposed to be a physical attacker? Oh, he went and got the help for me. That's a sick move. Reminds me of um one of the one of the people in Kingdom Hearts. I can't remember his name. Oh, she got taken out. Poor Esther. Oh, I'm gonna get taken out too if I try to beat it. But I'm gonna beat it anyways. Gotta show my manliness. We did it! I should have paid more attention to her health and whatnot. Oh well. Uh obviously we're getting ba ba babanas! See, I knew it. I knew they're babana plants. <laughs> I mean it wasn't that hard to guess, but you get my drift. Okay, so we're here we are at El Mamoon. So there was quests here, right? Like didn't I get quests to like stop Babana thieves or something? It would it give me I guess I'd have to go back to the other plane. I just want to do that. that is the freaking berserk symbol. Oh, that's right. There's still quests here I haven't been able to do because of uh, I don't have enthusiasm and whatnot. Interesting, very interesting. Unless I'm very much mistaken, which of course I am not. You keep familiars, am I correct? Uh, yes. But what? Why do you ask? I think you'll find that you are just the person I've been look waiting for. Excellent. And how exactly will we find that? What would you speak? Um, I think you'll find my name is in fact Derwin, and that I am a highly respected researcher in the field of familiar... I cannot say that word. Familiarology. I am currently in the area collecting important data on the creatures that can be tamed here in more arid regions of the world. So he's like, um... I'm gonna... Everything I'm gonna obviously make a Pokemon reference to, but my Pokemon lore has not been as up to date is what it was, but I feel like he's a Pokemon researcher, basically. Oh, you are, are you? And don't tell me you're... I can, he, the ER is messing me up. Too much of a wimp to go after them yourself, so you want us to help you, is it? Precisely. I would like to offer you an exciting opportunity to assist in some groundbreaking research by taming certain creatures and bringing them to me for study. Goes by the name of Derwin would like you to gather data on certain creatures. Sure. So I'm going to have to go and give him a bunch of creatures. And he's got four stamps, though. It's pretty good. Good. I hope you won't let me down. Which creatures do you need me to, us to tame, Derwin? This. Ah, yes. I need a species of creature said to resemble a bunch of unripe babanas and one that wears a purple turban. If you bring them to me, I can cast my expert eyes over them and make a few undoubtedly highly simulating, stimulating observations. Oh, and I cannot study them if you send them... To the familiar retreat, so please don't waste my time by doing so. Run along then, bring them both back to me, and I'll be sure to acknowledge your contribution to my next fascinating paper. Don't worry, Specky. Uh, we'll bring back those beasties before you can say cryptozoology. Isn't that an actual thing? Like the study of. There's some. Like the study of, like, fake creatures or something like that? So, I can activate this now. Now, the way he worded that. Makes it seem like if I send them there, I mean, I guess he just means I need to have them in my party to give it to him. And the fact that if I send them there, I can still take them back. I mean, I have to be able to do that, right? That'd be a bummer if, like, once you send them there, like, they just go on vacation forever and, like, I'm not helping that dick anymore. You see what he did to me? You set me on fire, the bastard. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Obviously, I can shop and whatnot. So obviously I got a bunch more quests and whatnot. Oh god, there's so many quests. My tweeter bounties. Vegetable thief. Uh, Gruffian keeps stealing produce from farmers fields outside of town as dealt with quickly. It's nearly harvest time. Southwest of Dean Dondell. The Rolling Hills Summerlands. Summerlands, Summerlands. Uh. 
Summerland, 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 Summerland. Isn't this the Summerlands? Like, that's what I said, like, stealing stuff in the Summerlands. Where is said Summerlands? It just says Alma Moon. I hit the wrong. Shimmering Sands West. Will it. Is that what just current area I'm currently in? Or. Hmm. I was kind of hoping it would show me. Do, do, do. So I'm in the Shimmering Sands West. I need to go over there for the story. So I want to see what I can do with that robot and the other thing. So I need to capture one of these guys, anyways. And it only happens though once you defeat them. A bonehead. Come on! Just wiping like sand off his head. Let's see, spells. Let's do fireball. Oh, that's why I should have rested or something to get my whatnot back. Another fireball. Oh my gosh, she is just getting destroyed. I wish she can still heal, which is good. I don't that character does not seem one good for fighting. Attack it. Beat it with my stick. Yeah. Looks like the guy did not want to be tamed. We oh well. Yay, we won. Okay, let's keep going. Try to get my people leveled up so I can use them again. I can't wait to see what Charmander looks up. Like, leveled up. I wonder if he's dark or red. I'm doing a pretty funny smile right now. Obviously, I need to capture some of those also, but I don't want to do that. So, it just seems like this entire area is the Shimmering Sands West. I need to go over there. I, I guess we could just continue on this way for now. You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, I just don't want to record me going through the forest again. Ah, oh, I was so close to that thing. The enemy has the upper hand. Here we go. Run, Esther. Run, don't let him attack you. Yeah, that's right, you better miss. I am almost out of MP, and I'm going into a new area. Uh... I should not use Frostbite, though. Take that! Almost killed him. Attack this one. Ah, ha, ha, batted you over the head. Uh, Frostbite also. So since I need that one to tame it, I should probably focus on it last. Good teamwork. Yes, 5 MP back. Not, it. not bad, not bad. I'm assuming also since I'm going to a new area, there will be a save thing where I can get all my stuff back. Boobity reached level 6. Uh, so I'll probably put Boobity away. Like, I grabbed him because I thought he looked the best out of those three, but... No, no, it doesn't just... <gasps> Bane Flower! Is Batman in this game? Oh, I'm going to have to go through... Ugh, I'm supposed to be faster too, but they can still catch me. Like, <laughs> there's actually trees here. Why would there be trees growing on a freaking volcano? Ah, 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 you put bat in a plant, you can't keep up with me. I run faster than the wind. Ooh, the tone and music. I like it. It's spooky. Perfect in time for Halloween. Boo -doo -boo. Speaking of which, we just I just pretty much finished... Oh, look, it's those guys that I just got. So I think you, you told me not to get this character, too, in a sense, because they're right here. <laughs> so sorry that I didn't end up listening to the feedback in a sense of... I kind of forgot because it's been so long since I've been focusing on finishing up aliens. Should have went back and read that. Oh, my, look at the river of lava. Don't you know a spell which could get us across, Oliver? Do I? Uh... Bridge? When did I learn bridge? And you must have given it to me. <laughs> I should have done a refresher course. I should have watched episode 13 before I started this. I am a true magician. I can just make bridges out of thin air. Alright. Oh, it's getting nutty. No, 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 I'm faster than you. No. What'd I get? <gasps> Bane flower. Oh, because I did that, they can't catch me. Or they gave up for a second, which is great. Oh, Smokey, huh? I wonder if a bear is up here. That'd be great if a bear is the boss, but we already... Didn't we already fight one? No, I think it was a giant lion or some, some, something like that. Old Smokey the Molten Mountain. It was like plants that are like candles. That looked pretty interesting, huh? So this is Old Smokey Jeepers. The whole mountain is on fire. 
Wow, I've always seen it from town, but I've never been this close before. Well, don't stand there gawping. Gaping? Gawping? It ain't exactly what you might call safe around here, but that's why people and fairies tend to steer clear, and I've remembered why I went to Alma Moon in the first place was to tech check on Shadar. And I could, not Shadar. Uh, wait, is it Shadar? It might be Shadar. Get my names mixed up now. Isn't the evil guy Shadar? What's your dad's name? <laughs> I can't remember. Anyways, I went there to check on him. I completely forgot, just left. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks a lot for birth. You can bet beasties will flipping love. Uh, brace yourselves, we're in for a bumpy ride. Watch out for the lava, Oliver. I doubt even Wizard could survive falling into that. Not much does. I'm trying to think of movies where something falls in lava and survives. Like, I think Wesker survives for a bit. Uh, spoilers. Um... I mean, I did a Let's Play of it on my channel. Okay, I'm free to talk about it. What other... Ah, oh, well. I'm trying to think of movies or anything. It seems everything dies. Don't worry, I'll be real careful. Working together, we'll make it through this. Just like we made it through the trials. You're right. It's inspirational. Let's crack on it then. Uh, don't stop till you reach the top. Uh-uh. Boop, boop, do reach the top. Uh-uh. Yes. This is what I wanted, and this is what I assumed would be here. Save my progress? No. But I will end this episode off here. This has been Kiss DN. Thanks for watching. Dude, oh my god, it's a little devil! No! I don't want to fight the devil! <laughs> Look at this little devil with a pitchfork! A shrimp on, paler? Oh, cool, and looks like a little lion fi a fire. Oh, it looks like, um. Not a Growlithe. There is a fire Pokemon, it kind of looks like that. But, anyways, I'm gonna. Oh, I gotta finish this fight before I can end it, right? Um. Pulse. This little fire guy. Oh, it wasn't a critical, but it just did massive damage. Let's see the ice. Frostbite should do. Like, I'm obviously, frost things should do quite well. Quite well indeed, indeed. 10 mana back. Uh, frostbite on the six impaler. Oh, she's almost dead. I gotta help her. Oh, nice. Whatever she just did. F that thing up. But she died in the process. At least you took one out. Good job, Esther. Nito! You fought bravely. I'll remember you forever. Eh, probably next week. <laughs> okay, now I'm actually going to end this episode. This has been Gizdian. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time where we either... I'll let you decide. Do we continue up the Smoky Mountain? Or do I do a bunch of side quests? Or... Actually, I don't even know where the people were that said... Obviously, I just had to find the right location. But should we probably get, continue up this mountain finish this story quest? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. My loving out.